Well, hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Oh, all a little hyped up about this March 8th FBI server shutdown, blah, blah, blah. So I call Time Warner. I'm going to go now to the audio from the recording of that conversation. Maybe you'll see uh, some more sheep-like behavior here in this. I have shortened the conversation to take out the dead air time, but none of the audio... No, none, none of it was manipulated other than removing dead air. So let's listen to this uh, conversation. According to Time Warner, it's all a lie, and Time Warner people have nothing to worry about, but we'll see. March 8th situation is not anything as far as Time Warner Cable. It's something that the FBI is doing. Well, the computer is infected with the virus. I, I understand that. Uh, Ma'am, that is uh, a, an unacceptable answer. We know that over 1 million computers are going to be uh, shut down. 50% of Fortune 500 companies and uh, PCs at nearly 50% of the federal agencies are going to be shut down. They're changing out the DNS servers. Uh, we know that over 1 million people could be affected and not have internet service. So what you just told me isn't really... Uh, okay, so it, it really doesn't have to do anything with time on the table because if your computer is affected with the virus, it would have nothing to do with us. Um, my tier 3 representative said you would have to take your computer in to be clean. No, no, no. I'm not talking, ma'am, I'm not talking about my computer. I'm talking about DNS servers being taken offline and one million people not being able to access the internet on March 8th. I need somebody um, from your department that has more knowledge of this than you because you only have what you've been fed and what you've been fed is not okay, true. I guess, I guess the bottom line is how is this, uh, this concerning Time Warner Cable? We're because not Time, Warner ca Time Warner Cable offers internet service, right? That is correct. Okay, is Time Warner Cable a Fortune 500 company? Um, that is correct. Okay, then there's a 50-50 chance that Time Warner's DNS servers are going to be taken offline March 8th okay. and that all of their users will not have internet. I want somebody to answer that question for me. Okay, so you want to know will the computers be taken down on March 8th for Time Warner servers, is that correct? I want to know if on March 8th or before when the DNS servers are shut down, if that will affect Time Warner Internet service. Yes. Okay. Ah. All right. Ah. I'll, let me get you over to someone who can help you. Thank you. Ah. Thank you. Ah. to get some real information about this March 8th possible uh, internet loss when um, the uh, DNS servers are changed or not changed, whichever happens. 
and I want to know how this is going to affect Time Warner. Um, from the information. In March 8th? Yes, um, and, and, and first of all, you, I just want to let you know that I'm not your average customer. I'm fully of, aware of what's going on, and um, I know that about half of the Fortune 500 companies in this country, which you are one of, uh, are infected with um, DNS changer Trojans, and that on the 8th, unless an extension is granted, that uh, up to 1 million people could lose internet service. And I want to know if that affects Time Warner people or not. Well, I've not heard of it yet, to be honest with you, but let me look here, because I'm sure they will have the information posted if it's going to affect us. Uh, I, just so went, I, information I, I just went from a customer service rep who had limited, uh, not truthful information to get handed off to somebody that has no information at all. That this is this is a big deal. Um, but many people run their businesses solely online, myself included, and I need to know if Time Warner Cable is going to be affected by this because if my business goes down because it is affected, then I have to issue refunds to a lot of unhappy people. Um, Why? Well, and what I would want to go ahead and do is look, like I said, we have an informational site here. If it's going to affect our customers, we're going to have it listed. Unless so the let, FBI let doesn't, unless the FBI doesn't allow you to tell people, ma'am, that's the problem. This is not being covered by the mainstream media, but it is happening, and so I'm not. Um, I hope that you'll be truthful and honest with me. Yes, yes. Any information I have, not a problem. Honestly, there's there's no reason for me to withhold information from you because it's information that affects me too. It does. So let me and, go ahead. And you, yeah, you you should have been made aware of this situation, I would think, so that you could handle this because it is a big deal. Um, Why? According to this, half of the Fortune 500 companies in the in the country are affected, and a PCs at at least 50 percent of all federal agencies. Um, and of course, the, the FBI has put a spin on it now, telling people that the anonymous are going to shut down the internet, which is stupid because the anonymous protect the internet. So there's something big going on, and people want to know what it is. Why? Right, of course. Well, and so do I. Um, let me do this. Let me send a message immediately over to my support team. That way, while I'm looking for information, if they have anything immediately, they can tell me too. Um, and I'm big on I Google a lot. So, well, let good. Me see here. That's great. I run an internet radio station, and it's a new station. I, I've been a host for months at another place, but I just opened my own station, and I have paying customers that pay to use the platform, and they're, they're all uh, kind of concerned, which I am too. I don't want to make investments if I'm not going to have internet. Um, right. Let's see here. Be just another few moments. I, I do apologize. Uh, by the way, what is the phone number associated with your account so I can have some information as well? Actually, I'm a roommate of an account holder, um, so that wouldn't do you any. Uh, geez, I don't even know what the phone number is because I use my own phones. Um, okay, I, well, I, I can give you the question, so let me go ahead and try and find that for you. I, I can give um, the street address in the. Okay, uh, what's that? 322 West Mulberry Street in Lebanon, Kentucky. Okay, and what's that zip code? It's 40033. 33, okay. Let's see here. Okay, do you know whose name is the under? Uh, I'm not sure if it's under my buddy or his wife's name, One of, um, or both of them together possibly. Gordon, last name Gordon. Okay, what's his and hers? John and Kathy. Kathy, okay, perfect. Well, let me go ahead and as soon as I verify the name and the address, I can get general information, which does help on this uh, information here. So give me just one second. Let's see here. This seems very strange that you would have no information about this. I already told you by your supervisors this close to a date where over a million computers could be affected with a shutdown. Right. Well, and it's one of those things, too. I want 
to know what's going on, especially if it's government regulated, but it's a personal thing too, not just my work aspect. Right. So I'm, I'm a little surprised I personally have not heard about it. There's a lot um, you haven't heard about if you watch mainstream media. <laughs> I, I try not to, to be Good. honest with you. Good for you. Um, that's I awesome. That sounds bad. No, that I sounds watching mainstream. <laughs> no, it, I, I I hate it. Um, I actually uh, myself do a daily news report. Um, because I don't, I won't deal with any of the mainstream media. It's all corporate run, twisted, and you're not getting the truth. Yeah, and see, my whole thing is, who do you, who do you trust? I mean, they tell you to be so cautious in this world. Well, that's me being cautious. Is I'll, I'll listen, I'll hear the stories because I, you know, work with folks and they tell me about it and I'll look it up. But other than that, I just, I should get the information for myself. Yeah, you have to research everything. If you want a good overview, um, Monday through Friday at 10 p.m. East Coast time, I do, uh, I call it the Daily Mayhem Report, and it's an overview of the news. It's quick. It gives you more topics and more information in about 20 minutes than you will get in four hours of watching CNN or Fox. Um, Did you say 10 a.m. or p.m.? 10 p.m. East Coast time. Um, and that, it, you just go to my website, humanbeingbroadcasting.net. Um, it's a live talk platform, and I, I personally do the news at 10 o'clock, Monday through Friday. And, um, Human being. Broadcasting. Dot net. And we have chat rooms there. Uh, there are different talk shows, live talk shows on before that. But at 10, if you want to get, uh, and I give my sources so you can research anything that I tell you. I do tell you where to find the information. Um, but yeah, you'll get a different picture. If you listen to that report for one week um, and then look at any mainstream media news segment, you will be thoroughly disgusted at the mainstream news. Um, <laughs> It, it's a crazy world, and I and I don't. Uh, if I seemed aggressive, I don't mean to be, but it's just so much is kept from us. And I stay on top of this stuff. I research news 16 hours a day. So um, yeah, honestly, the way I take it, and and I had this happen this morning. If somebody called in frustrated. It's because the topic means something to them, and it means that I need to make that important to me too. I need to find out what's going on. And in this case, like I said, it's not just work. It's too. I want to know what's going on. So now you got my curiosity peaked. So let's find out what's going on here. Okay. It may take me a few moments, so I do apologize, but I'm very good at getting information. So Great. My support team's still looking. Um, actually, I may be able to help them. I just found a list of IP addresses of the affected DNS servers. I could give you that list. Um, oh, uh, did you find that online? Yes. Okay, hang on. Let me grab this paper here real quick. Okay, what's that website? Uh, the website is deadlinelive.info. Oh, hang on. Deadline live.info and then you're going to uh, look for the article that says will the FBI shut down the internet March 8th and it gives a list of IP addresses that are affected the DNS servers and um, there's a few different categories uh, starting with the number 85 through whatever and then 67, 93, 77, 213 and 64 I don't really know a lot about those locations, but there's quite an extensive amount of IP addresses that are affected. Right, and that'll probably help. Let, let me uh, send that over to my support team here. I'm sorry, I'm multitasking, talking, looking. That's fine. I, it, no, no apologies. That's great to actually get somebody that cares um, and isn't just... Uh, I get so frustrated because most customer support people, they just feed, they believe everything they're fed, and I, I have no patience for it anymore. Uh, I really don't. Because, well, because it's, you know, when a corporation tells you something, and then um, it's different than what the real news is, it, it gets very frustrating. Okay, 
I did looking now at that website too. There is no, also a couple other resources. Yeah, there's also some information uh, at the FBI.gov. There's a PDF uh, that's just kind of an overview, uh, a self-check for yourself to find out if your computer is one of the ones that are infected. Um, so, okay, I won't tie up your whole day because obviously... Um, well, actually, we don't have calls waiting, so if you do have a few more moments, they are just researching it. Okay. Great. Yeah, I didn't want you to think that, you know, don't worry about, you know, we, we've got the time and the inability to work with it for you. Yeah. And she's actually going to go ahead and um, jump over to IT, that chat, and she's going to see what we can do there. Were you looking at the um, at the FBI.gov uh, check to see if your computer is using rogue DNS? Uh, I'm at that PDF now, yeah, just scanning through it. Um, it it's kind of more of a guide for the individual. Um, so more than anything else. Y yeah, um, if you were on, if your computer was configured to one of these rogue DNS servers, then you may not be up to date. Um, it may be infected with Trojans. Uh, this, you know, there's a lot of maybes. Um, and there's, right. a, there's a self check. Uh, I, I'm more concerned with it, you know, um, not so much my computer, uh, but the fact of losing uh, internet, possibly losing internet, because again, I, I have this talk radio platform, and it's just <laughs> the timing um, a few days before this November, I mean, uh, March 8th date, people are supposed to pay their subscriptions. So. Uh, they're not going to shell out, uh, you know, a few hundred dollars to continue their talk shows for six right, months. Right, when it might not be available. Right, and I, and I right. certainly don't want to take their money and have to go through, you know, refunds or, or uh, any of that stuff either. Well, and I mean, also, too, um, on, on another point is that we as companies need to know about it because we need to know how to take care of our customers if it happens. I can't believe yeah. your superiors didn't at least send everybody a company email, um, you know, because this is a big deal. They're talking about maybe one million computers being affected. Certainly, um, I, I would if if I'm your first caller on this issue, then everybody is a sheep, and uh, we're in rough shape because uh, you know. You uh, are my first call. Is that, um, yeah, thank you, CNN. No, Fox. I, I can't say that, you know, last, last week I really wasn't in too much. I was sick. But as far as I know, Friday to now, um, the only day I didn't work was Saturday. And I haven't heard anything about it. You also haven't heard about it on your local news, right? <laughs> um, well, and I, I just tell you and convey to you what they tell me. I want to tell you that right yeah, away. No, right, no, no. They did come up with some information. Ah. They said, this isn't a true statement. Nothing like that will happen here. So, apparently, we are not going to be affected. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, and so for you personally, you may want to just look into that stuff when you're off duty because uh, who knows. Right. Um, well, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and notate um, your roommate's account here. Just that we had an inquiry about the DNS server. Uh, let's see, DNS server, ah. FBI issue, ah. or 3812. Ah. Her support, this will not happen ah. with TWC server. That's great. That's great information. Not a true statement is what I put. I put it in quotations. Ah. So that way it is documented and it's in there. Okay. So Time Warner servers are not going to be affected by this. They're, ah. they're uh, that's what they're saying. They just said that um, this isn't a, it, this isn't a true statement. Nothing like that will happen here. And that's the information that our IT tech support had given. Okay, that's great. Uh, well, did you have any other questions or concerns at this time? 
No, that was all. That was the big deal. I just want to make sure my customers are going to be able to pay for their service and get their service. Right, of course. Well, and I appreciate you calling, too. I mean, any information we can be given, that is great, and I really appreciate it. Um, if there's anything else we can do for you, let us know. My name is Daniela. I am out of our Cincinnati call center, um, and I am here every day except for Thursday and Saturday normally if you need anything else. Okay, great. I uh, appreciate your time. Um, and yeah, tune in, 10 p.m. East Coast time. Matter of fact, uh, one of my hosts is from Ohio. He does the uh, Legal War shows. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, great show at 7 p.m., but 10 o'clock, you'll get the news. Okay, great. Well, I'll have to check that out. Thank you. And like I said, if there's anything else, let us know, and you have a good day. I will. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Well, there you have it. That was didn't uh, really convince me of anything. It's, everything's a lie. When you hear a blanket statement like that, you know that, well, what you were just told is probably a lie. So who knows? That doesn't uh, give us much more information. I will link you to the post that I referred to from the uh, live deadline site and uh, the PDF so that you can check your IP address and see if maybe you're infected. Who knows what's going to happen? It's, it's ridiculous.